Okay, today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about things you may or may not know about the mask tool. Now, I've been asked to do this, um, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and show you a few different things. First of all, let me go here. All right, so the mask tool. Um, the first thing you want to know about the mask tool is that pink is protected. Okay, pink equals protected, and I will go into that, what that means in a, in a minute, and how that applies to different things. Um, next, I'm going to say uh, things that work with the mask tool are uh, the clip view, cut, copy, delete, duplicate, and clone, content-aware photo scaling, photo enhance tool, photo clone tool, and combine shapes, and I will go into each of those. And also, something you want to know is that there is a... Uh, masks get their own layer and you can uh, you can if you have the ability to to look at the different layers you can uh, see individual shapes on those layers okay so let me go ahead and jump to a photo all right so here I have a photo that I took recently in uh, when I was back in the US and um, I was went to belly Bob's uh, in Fort Worth Texas and here I have this photo that I took of some of the pool table lights over uh, their, their pool table area. So if I want to, uh, to create a mask here, then all I have to do is turn on mask mode and the whole screen turns pink. Now, automatically it selects the uh, um, freehand and brush tool. Now, I think it's silly to draw with the freehand and brush tool. I like to draw with the shape tool, so uh, the shape editor tool, so I can just go ahead and do that. Now, what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and mark out the pieces that I want for my shape. So I'm just going to click a line, right, and go ahead and outline the shape just like I want it to look. Yeah? And there, I've got more or less my outline shape. And I can edit this if I want to. I can bend these lines. This works just like the shape editor tool does normally. Uh, and I'm going to continue to do that for the rest of this light. So for the pole and for these two um, pieces here. I could have done this all in one, uh, but I'm just trying to show you how, how I did it. So I'm going to go here and show you how I already did this. Okay, so I, I have um, a variety of shapes. And here you can see the mask layer, right? There are one, two, three, four, five different shapes. That's one for each... Uh, light shade, one for each uh, um, piece of the pole coming down, and one for the pole going across. All right, that's five. Uh, now, when I was showing you this before, it was inverted, right? Um, well, that's because uh, you can do that quite easily in the Shape Editor tool. If you hold Control and Shift and then press the I key, that inverts the mask. Yeah, so I can toggle that as many times as I want. I'm just holding Control Shift down, and every time I hit the I key, uh, it uh, it inverts it, yeah. So, all right. So let's talk about pink is protected, yeah. So the pieces that are pink, all right, these pieces right here are protected. So if I want um, to use the uh, um, the uh, uh, clip view, for example, right? These pieces are protected. These are not going to be part of the clip view. So if I hit the Q key, those pieces disappear. Yeah. If I were to do it the other way around, Control Shift I, right, to invert that, and hit the Q key, there you go. Those pieces are what's left. All right. Fairly straightforward. Uh, let me undo that, and then let's talk about. Uh, cut, copy, and delete. All right, so the the unmasked portions are the pieces that are cut, copied, or deleted, right? So not any of this piece. That's all protected, right? It's these pieces that are cut. So if I hit um, Control X, cut objects, yeah. If I uh, undo that and invert them, Control Shift I, and did it the other way around, control X, cut objects, then everything else would be the one that gets cut. Yeah, works for the same for copy. So if I hit control C, yeah, copy objects, All right, control V, yeah, there's the copy. Without the mask pieces, yeah? Undo, undo, undo. 
Yeah. And the same with delete. Uh, so let me do one more time. The unmasked portions would be the pieces that are deleted. Delete, right? If I hit the delete key, boom, delete objects. The unmasked portions are the ones that get uh, deleted. Okay. Sorry if I ramble on about this. Uh, it, this works the exact same way with uh, duplicate and clone. So control D for duplicate. Um, uh, clone control K would uh, would duplicate the unmasked portions, right? So if I just wanted to duplicate uh, the lights, I would have to invert this and control control K for clone. Yeah. So there's my clone right on top of it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Content aware photo scaling. Okay. So control shift I. So I want to protect these, right? Pink is protected. If I want to protect these, then I cover the pieces that I don't want to stretch. And if I were to go to my photo tool and do, uh, um, oh, sorry, the content aware photo resizing, right? Click that. I have my pieces, protected pieces covered, right? Click prepare. And then when it's done, I can do my stretching. Now this is going to do terrible things to this pool table right here. It's going to make it look all kinds of crazy, but um, you can see what happens, right? The lamps don't stretch, but everything else in the picture does. Okay, so let me undo, undo that. Um, that also works with um, uh, the Photo Enhance tool, right? So if I go back to the Photo Enhance tool, pink is protected, so I'm going to keep those. But say I wanted to haze out the rest of the background, right? This is the Sharpness and Blur tool. So I'm going to type in a minus 200 blur. Everything in the background gets hazy and my uh, protected pieces stay sharp, yeah? Um, that works with any of these. Uh, so if I wanted these protected and, and I just, right? If I do this and just click the enhance button, yeah? These will be protected and the rest gets enhanced. So all that gets the, the photo enhanced treatment and these don't, yeah? Straightforward stuff. Uh, let's see. Photo clone tool. Um, let me go to a different photo for that. Uh, here's a, a photo of uh, some apples in the apple tree out in the backyard. And uh, let's say, for instance, that this particular apple offends me for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that guy. I'm going to go ahead and enable my mask mode. And I am going to go ahead and go around this guy. I think I know what I did when I went around. I forgot to reselect my endpoint when I had that uh, that piece that I wanted to bend. I'm sure that's what happened. Once I do it like this, there we go. That's the piece that I wanted. So everything, yeah, and that's the way it should have happened, right? This, all this is protected. That's what I wanted. Um, and if I drag on this, I can drag some leaves over it, maybe and make it look like like that is the way I want it to be and now you can see that that uh, that apple has disappeared oh combine shape so yeah let me go back to sorry this one here do uh, if I wanted to uh, to do something here right uh, the arrange menu Combine shapes, uh, cut shapes, for example, that works here in this clone tool as well. So it didn't work out like I wanted to. Control A, there we go. Arrange, combine shapes, slice, cut shapes. Yeah, then I've cut out the pieces that I've cloned, that I that I masked. So that's it. Um, I already showed you that the um, that the mask. Uh, gets its own layer, yeah, uh, and that's about it. Uh, so again, just uh, to go over everything one last time, and because you probably haven't had enough of it yet, uh, the mask tool, pink is protected, remember that, uh, things that work with the mask tool, clip view, cut, copy, delete, duplicate and clone, content aware photo scaling, 
photo enhance tool, photo clone tool, and combine shapes, and any of the sub things on that slice, cut, join, that kind of thing. And that mask, uh, there is a mask layer. That's it. I uh, hope that was helpful and you found it interesting. We'll talk to you next time.